I'm Doug Slocum, the author of Violent Positivity. You know, my time at Selfridge, there's plenty of examples of some very unique experiences, one of which was the Flint water crisis. When that happened, I was told that we needed to be on standby and ready to help. In fact, I got a call at one point that says, you know what, there's going to be trucks full of water that we're going to be bringing in to go to Flint, but it's going to be about 72 hours. Now, this was on a three-day weekend, so I was like, well, technically we have plenty of time. So had to think about it, but I said, you know what, it's a Saturday of a three-day weekend. I need to bring the team in. And I recalled my crisis action team, and they all came together on a Saturday afternoon. It was not a popular decision. But we sat there and we came up with a plan. Where are the trucks going to go? What are we going to do? How are we going to make all this happen? And we drew it all up, and then I turned everybody loose for the rest of their weekend. Well, I'm kind of glad they did, because that same Saturday night at about 11 o'clock, I got the first phone call. And it was the front gate at Selfridge. And they were saying, there are trucks lining up from FEMA right now at the front gate. It was great. As a commander, all I had to say was, execute the plan. We came up with a plan. We didn't have 72 hours. In fact, it was more like 9 or 10 before all of a sudden the trucks started showing up. My team, they worked wonderfully. Flawless execution, and we were able to be a main logistical hub of what went on in Flint. But it's an example of teamwork, of communication, of being able to get things done. It was a great example of Selfridge, this community, and violent positivity. Thank <laughs> you.